That's in my time, guys. You guys ready for your headliner? All right. I just want to let you guys know you're very lucky to have this guy here tonight, and he's doing a special taping uh, up here. We have cameras, so make sure you guys give a great warm response. He's going to kill it for you. This guy is on two national tours. The Slumdog Tour and Planets with Punchlines. He recently got back from touring in India and London. Everybody give it up for Kabizi! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank all eight of you brown motherfuckers to show up. Thank you guys. This whole week, this whole week, where's your special gummy tape? Pleasanton, that is too far. <laughs> Do it in Mel Peters, yaar, why? Los Gatos is nice too, come. <laughs> I just got back from performing in the motherland. Yeah! Vancouver was beautiful. <laughs> Not only that, I did a show in Yuba City. What the fuck happened there? I shall, how the hell did we take over a whole city? What did we do, show up 20 years ago? Hey, everybody, get the hell out. Get the hell, Steve, Mike, Jaja, Patinder, Satinder, Jatinder, Aja, 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 These white people look fucking confused. I'm gonna get to you guys later. Don't worry, baby, high five. You ready for this? This one's for you. I'm Indian, my best friend is white, and he calls me every time he does something Indian. Which is ridiculous, because I don't call him every time I do something white. Yesterday he calls me, he's like, hey bro, guess what I'm doing? I'm like, what? I'm eating a samosa. I was like, dude, I don't call you every time I'm eating a Pop-Tart. Or driving a pickup truck. Or fucking an Asian girl. Yeah, welcome to the fucking show. My friends always try to get me to the club with them, right? Let's go to a club, I refuse. I'm not going to the club with my friends until we make a decision on how to greet each other in public. Yeah, we gotta make a choice. Is it high five or fist to fist? Because I'm sick of looking like an idiot. I'm serious, the last 20 times I've been out, I've high fived a fist every time. Yeah, I feel like a fucking Power Ranger every time I do it. And now my white friends are doing this new thing, right? They're doing this fist-to-fist -fist explosion. You know what I'm talking about, chat. Fist-to-fist, -fist, and they blow it up! I'm like, really? I'm brown. The last thing I need to be doing in public is blowing shit up. It's not a good look for me. I go out, I used to hell white, white girls, but I don't do that anymore. Why? White girls have been taking racism and stereotypes to a whole new level. That's right, I said it. Pleasanton. <laughs> yeah, I was at a bar last week, right? Me and this white girl were hitting it off an hour into it. She was like, hey, you wanna go back to my place? I was like, hell yeah, right? I go back to her place, she had me fix the computer while she passed out on the couch. <laughs> I was pissed, I wanted revenge, so I did what any good Indian would do, I gave it a virus. Yeah, and then I gave the computer a virus. Uh-oh, better get checked. No, I hate racism and stereotypes. They affect me on day-to-day -day basis. I can't even go to fries anymore. Yeah, people just assume I work there. And it's bullshit. I'll be standing there, right, and some white guy will come up to me, hey buddy, could you tell me the difference between these two cameras? I'm like, does it look like I can? I'm standing here high as shit with a Rihanna CD in my hand. <laughs> I obviously don't make good decisions. That's right, fuck Rihanna. We're learning. I hate Rihanna. I hate her. I'm sick of Rihanna telling me what to do all the time. Please don't stop the music. Shut up and drive. Bitch, you don't even know me like that. I'm telling you, if she keeps that up one of these days, somebody's gonna beat her up. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. It hurts me the most because I'm a pioneer against racism. Even when I was five years old, me and my friends, we all had imaginary friends, right? And all my friends' imaginary friends were white, but mine was Mexican, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And what? That's right. And when I was eight years old, he stole all my shit. <laughs> 
I was like, really, Julio? After all we've been through? Put my goddamn PlayStation down. Got my sister pregnant on the way out. I'm like, get the fuck out! You get out. Scots and soda. Punjabi people? Huh? Oh, get that! You're all right, huh? Quiet. Fuck about the show. Listen. Now, there's a lot of messed up stereotypes out there, right? But some are true. Some are true. Like Indians and bargaining. Am I right? Indians will bar you know, how come the only person la clapping is the black lady in the house? Like, I know these motherfuckers be bargaining every time they come to high school. You motherfuckers are clapping. But it's you. Indians will bargain anytime, anywhere. We'll bargain while we're getting robbed. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Put your hands up. Okay, buddy, hear me out. <laughs> how about I put one hand up, huh? It's like, how about you give me all your shit? How about I give you half my shit? And you give me your watch. It's like, how about I shoot you in the face? How about you just stab me and we call it a day? That's why you never see any Indians on Deal or No Deal. It would take too long. They're like, all right, Padinder, uh... <laughs> The banker's offering you $700,000. You tell that banker to come down here and suck my dick. Tell him! Tell him to come down here. Tell him. Tell him to come down here. Tell him. You guys are fun. I like it. I'm funner. So I'm going to community college. It's not funner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You know what's fucked up? We both went to community college together. I know her. <laughs> like, you were in my class. Make fun of me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I did go to India recently. I went to India. I went to India. I don't recommend it. I, uh, <laughs> I went there and I stayed with my cousins and my cousins think they're gangsters. That's right, Indian gangsters from Chandigarh, Punjab. <laughs> but I go up there, I'm like, hey, what's up, my Kabizi, right? I'm trying to ask, hey, what's up? Hey, what is up, blood? What is up, cuz? I've got cream on inside and cream on outside. What you want to do about it? I'm like, whoa, take it easy, raw gender, all right? You can't be a gangster and drive a rickshaw at the same time. You gotta make a choice. Ding, ding, ding. I'm hanging out with them, and I don't know if you know this, but they don't have toilet paper. They don't use toilet paper in India. Could you fucking imagine that, sir? No toilet paper. No toilet paper. Not only did they not use toilet paper, but they made fun of me for using toilet paper. Do you know how weird that is to get made fun of for using toilet paper when you were born in America? I'm chilling. I just ate. I'm like, man, I gotta take a shit. He's like, oh, you need to take a shit, do you? I bet you're going to need some toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some goddamn toilet paper. Why are you high-fiving each other? <laughs> After they told me what they used, water in hand, I didn't high-five anyone for a fucking month. <laughs> I'm hanging out, what is up, Kabizi? I'm like, do not fucking touch me. Do not bring that shit over here. Don't bring it. Don't do it. My uh, cousins in India try to impress me too. They're like, oh, I'm going to show you around. Where they take me? An amusement park. That's right, roller coasters in a third world country. I was like, really? That's not a good idea. I jumped on the first roller coaster, right? I took a couple shots, jumped on the roller coaster, and I started feeling good, right? I started feeling better. I was scared shitless, but I'm on this roller coaster, so I'm going up. I'm like, I'm feeling a little better. I'm like, this isn't bad, right? Roller coasters have been for the 1950s. We're fine, right? I'm, I'm cool, I'm cool. I look down, two Indians pulling a rope. <laughs> One of them looked at his watch like he had somewhere to go. I was like, holy shit, I hope he's not in a rush. <laughs> Second place he took me was a zoo. A goddamn zoo. I walked in the zoo, there's six animals in that zoo. Six animals. It made no sense because we drove past 12 to get to the zoo. I was like, there's 15 animals across the street. Why don't we just bring them in here and have a zoo-like atmosphere? 